physical therapy clinic. And today I just want to talk about different kinds of stress fracture areas that can arise. Uh, since COVID, I've been seeing a lot of lower leg stress fractures. Uh, so I wanted to show you what to be aware of. Um, also, uh, so parents, uh, student athletes, runners, coaches, um, this is a really easy way that you can screen, okay? So talking about the lower leg here, this bone here is called the tibia. And I'm gonna circle um, some areas here to look for, okay? If you press on the crest of the tibia, so this bony spine right on the front, and you have exquisite pain right here on the front, I'm gonna do a little circle here. This is actually a critical area. It's an area where if there is a stress reaction or a possible stress fracture, you need to have that identified right away and get off of it. Versus if we start having pain here on the lower part of the inside tibia, this is not a critical area. We call this medial tibial stress, uh, either fracture or reaction. We definitely need to have this looked at, but we can manage this a little bit differently. On the inside of the foot, if you could turn your foot out just a little bit, great. This bone here on the inside of the foot is called the navicular. This is another area if there is a tenderness on the bone or possible stress reaction or fracture, we need to get off that immediately and have it looked at. Okay, that's another critical zone as far as a stress fracture. This here is the calcaneus, okay? This heel bone, if you pinch it, it feels bony. Above it is the Achilles tendon. So we're gonna differentiate that. The tendon is above and you can feel it as a narrow structure right above the heel. And as you come down, you can feel the, the bony prominence of the calcaneus or the heel bone. Stress fractures here are also a critical zone. If you come down and you press and squeeze right on that calcaneus and it really lights you up, that is another area that you need to have looked at immediately. Good, and go ahead and relax forward. And lastly, for, for the foot on the outside, here on the base of the fifth, this is another area if there is a stress reaction or a stress fracture and you have pain right on that bone to have it looked at immediately. That's another area of critical, of a critical stress fracture. And briefly, I wanna talk about the hip. So if you have pain in the front of the hip here, there is two sides, that's the femoral neck or the hip bone. There are two sides. Have it looked at whether it's whether you know it's one side or the other because if it's on the underside, that's a compression side, that is not treated as a critical zone, that we can manage that a little bit differently. But if it is on the tension side, that is a very serious situation. And we also wanna have that looked at immediately and that's a critical zone. So pain here in the front of the hip or the groin, especially with single leg landing or hopping is something that you wanna have looked at immediately and on the, on the back side of the hip, if you have pain kind of in the glute area, sometimes that can be a sacral stress fracture. So these are some areas to be aware of. Um, and so if you're working with runners or you are a runner and you've been having pain right on the bone, um, I hope this helps you, um, one, start to know what maybe you're dealing with and two, how to seek guidance. All right, thank you very much, bye-bye.